and we welcome you into this week's edition of the Coach Abbott Report. I'm Landon Trailer, joined by head varsity basketball coach of the Carroll Chargers, Coach Ryan Abbott. Coach, first of all, happy new year. How are you doing? Oh, we're great. Uh, we're, we're excited. Hey, you know, our, a lot of our goals this year are ahead of us in the new year, so we're excited to get going. No doubt about it. Coach, your team is coming off arguably its best performance. Tell us a little bit about the win at Hamlet Southeastern uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. Yeah, it, it seems like it's been a while, but I tell you what, we, we just executed so well on both sides of the basketball. Um, I really think it started with our defense. It, our team's ability to just take our scouting report and boy I, there's not a lot of mistakes out there that uh that were made in that 32 minutes of, of who to help off of and who to stay tight with and when to double and when to rotate uh, just our guys did a really good job executing that and then it's one of those uh you know i, I remember we called a, a a set at the end of the first quarter that we didn't get a good look from after that, uh, boy, I, I can't remember a lot of actions that we really wanted that we didn't get what we wanted. So it's one of those games that you get on the bus and you say, yeah, it, it went pretty well. So hopefully we can build off of that. What does the win at Hamilton Southeastern say about this team after all of those heartbreaking losses that you guys had back to back to back? Well, I, I think even more than the, the losses early, um, you know, I, I think the ability to build a lead was a great lesson for us at HSE. Um, I also think, you know, I, I'd have to go back and look, but you may do the math on this, Landon, but I think we lost that game by 22, 24 points last year and won it by about that many this year. So yes. a 40-point swing um, coming from a lot of guys that contributed in that same game last year. Um, and they're big guys as good as they come. And I, I, he, I think we held him without a field goal. Um, he had a couple free throws. So, you know, I think it's just moving forward um, and that we're not dwelling on a couple, couple of those heartbreakers. Coach, 14 days in between games, obviously some practices now and then, but how do you prepare for a game like playing against Bishop Dwyer, a team who's big, physical, with 14 days in between game action? Well, you know, honestly, HSE, uh, they're big guys very similar to Preston Ross at uh, Dwanger. Ross may be maybe a little more skilled in that dynamic, and obviously the HSE guy is about as athletic as they come. not saying that Ross is not. Um, so I think that, that that helps us. But the days off, you know, initially we need to get healthy. Uh, you know, Grant Peters coming off a concussion. Obviously it was a big part of HSE coming back off of that. Um, Sinish had the flu for you know in there and kind of tried to play through it and those kinds of things so i think just us being healthy is a positive right. um you know i won't lie we had a few practices there where we got back in shape and i'm comfortable with that now uh this time last week i probably wouldn't have been comfortable <laughs> with it coach dwanger has been struggling a bit to begin this season tell us a little bit about the saints team you guys like well you say that they've been struggling a little bit boy they remind us a lot of our team last year you know i, I they're one win right now but boy they've right. given everybody about all they want right. um so they're, they're scary. Coach Kostov does an awesome job with his team. Um, their 1-2-2 two, two zone is tough, especially when you got two six eight um, athletic just specimens down there on the blocks. And, you know, we don't have a ton of size, so that will present some problems to us. Then Campbell had eight threes on us last year. Uh, we haven't forgotten that. He had 26 points and just really got it going, and we did a horrible job of finding him. So there's a lot that we uh, – that we should be motivated about going into Friday night. Coach, last thing here, in the last 12 conference games, Carroll's 1 and 11 of those games. Is there a message that you relay to your team about SAC games? That's interesting. Uh, no, I, I can't say I've standed that for us, Landon, to be honest with you. Um, no, we, we do need to win a conference game. Um, you know, I'd like to think the optimistic side of me thinks that nobody's going to run the table in conference. Right. So if we'll need a little bit of help, somebody's got to be Concordia twice for us, somebody's got to be Wayne twice for us, um, and then maybe be in the mix of that. So we could have helped ourselves a lot by maybe getting one of those and maybe even both. But uh, so, yeah, to control our own destiny, uh, and, you know, winning the conference would be special, obviously. But coming off a 2-21 and season, boy, being in that top two or three, I think is where we would like to fall. Thank you for your time, Coach, and best of luck against me. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lane. As we return here on the Charger pregame show, we take a look at the Bishop Dwanger Saints. All that and more coming up next on the Charger Sports Network.